Hello guys, welcome to this uh, third session in Sinchai XGS. In this session, we are going to see about uh, the layouts uh, concept and uh, how it gets implemented in XGS and what are the list of types available, the layout types available in XGS. Uh, just to make it short, I just uh, only going to discuss about the, uh, the, 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 the mostly used layouts alone. The other than that, I just show the things that I'll just show the list of types uh, available in XJS. Okay, what is layout? Uh, we already seen uh, about what is component, what is container, right? So, your container can contain components, that's what we discussed. But uh, how the components will be arranged inside your container? So for example, you want to ar ar arrange it one after another, maybe in horizontal fa fashion. Sometimes you want to uh, uh, align the same items in the vertical fashion. Inside the con whatever the co items inside the container, you want that to be aligned horizontally, vertically, and uh, you want that to be aligned. For example, something like this, like this, and uh, you you want to see uh, so many uh, portions of the application at the same time, and you want to toggle between one another. Uh, so, what kind of layout should you should use in those kind of situations? Okay, so EXGS provide all the special kind of layout which is required typically in all the applications uh, and we will see what are the list of types which is available in EXGS. Auto layout is the, is the default layout for all the uh, container, uh, maybe I think except form because I have seen in form like it is an anchor layout by default. and. Uh, horizontal box and vertical box and we have card layout like mobile mobile phone we have so many views right but uh, all the views uh, stack uh, one after another like uh, like uh, cards okay so uh, like uh, we play cards right the cards play card, uh, playing cards so something like that it is stacked one after another and you can just uh, put all your items and you can mention the, the uh, type person layout type person Mm. card and they, by default the first item would be set as an active item and if you want to switch between them and you can based on the uh, the item position you can just switch the cards okay that is also valid in xjs and border layout uh, like you can just specify what i i want to see the center region i want to see the north region i want to see the south region also i also want to see the north and uh, uh, for example the west and east region as well for example, in the, in the west region, you can have your menu bar, and in the central region or east region, you can have your your, your items. So, when clicking on the menu, you want some tab to be open your central region. So, you, if you want to do that simultaneously, then you can go for border layout. And there is a column layout just like digital uh, bootstrap, uh, which is pointed with for response design, right? Something like that. We have a column. Uh, layout as well and uh, we have also have table layout and form layout, accordion layout and this for uh, achieving the accordion uh, feature and uh, forms comes with the anchor layout and we already seen what is fit layout, the fit layout is the kind of layout which will only uh, allow the very first item to be occupy the full view, uh, full container uh, width. Okay, so I just brought the little example on this. Uh, for example, I just put on two panels inside the panel. Okay, or else we can have a container. Container. So I have a. I have a container. Inside the container, or it's a container, not container, or container. I'm not sure. So let us check that. It's a container, not container. It's a container. So it's container dot container. So I'm just the same container. So once you save this, I didn't specify any layout here. Okay. Um, so let us refresh the application once. Let us check what are the default layout which is there for the uh, the container. Okay. So I'm just doing this dot. I already put a debugger inside this. And then my third, uh, sorry, it's get view, okay. So, and you want to see the layout, right? So, if you check the layout config of your uh, 
it, the, it is layout container, auto container, sorry, it's auto container. So the default uh, layout of any container component is uh, auto. Okay, so that, that's, that is what auto container is all about. And uh, for example, uh, in auto container mode, if you check uh, the items, okay, if you check the items, it's arranged in this fashion. Okay. This is fine, uh, but I want this to occupy a certain width, okay, also when it is getting arranged. So I'm just going to specify in my, um, I'll be given flexman, but I want this to be stretched to the width, whatever that I'm going to mention, okay. So I'm just going to mention layout, for example, I want a horizontal box, okay, I want a horizontal box. I'm just saving this. You can specify the layout config like this as a string or you can specify even it as an object. Let's try this first. Okay. So now the components are arranged one after another from uh, left to right and stuff from top to bottom. Okay. Because I specified uh, the hatch box. But I don't Okay, this is fine. It is occupied the flex. Okay, I apply the flex property, right? So it's occupied correctly. For example, if I want one more uh, panel to be available inside this, then I can specify that too by specifying one more item and uh, I just specify the flex, right? So it will be equally split at the size of the panels. Okay, I don't want the debug anymore. Uh, fine. Okay, this is fine, but I want the panel to be occupied the full region instead of uh, not only the width. I want the height to be fully stretched out. Okay, if that is the case, then you can you can just convert your layout from um, string to an object. Okay, you can specify. You can convert this as some type, and you can just specify. For example, I want this to be uh, packed from start. And I want this to be stretched out. Okay, you can align the, you can use the uh, pack and uh, align property. Uh, yes, T. I don't know. I hope the spelling is correct. <laughs> S T R E T C H S. Yes. Stretch. Okay, so now there you go. Okay, so now the components are stretched out fully uh, the whole viewport in the horizontal fashion, right? So the horizontal fashion because stretched out, but I don't want that component to be aligned horizontally instead of this. I want the component to be aligned vertically. Okay. What you can do is you can change the layer to from hatchbox to vbox and now oh, there you go. So now the components are aligned from top to bottom instead of from left to right. Okay. Okay. I don't want uh, mm, hatchbox or vbox. I want a fit layer for example. Okay. I just specify this. When she refresh the application, what would happen? The first item should occupy the full area instead of this. Yeah, it occupied. Okay, but you can't go back to your second or third item. That's the problem with the fit layout because it can access only one. Okay, now uh, instead of this, I want a card layout. Okay, this is my card layout. So I'll just, uh, for example, you can have a button, but for, example, for now, I will just enable my debugger. I will just try to switch from one to another. Uh, but I have to change the method, method from the render to after render because while render you can't do anything and uh, I just do after render. Okay. I change the listener, I bet just keep the method name as it is. Okay. So once it is rendered, now what you can do is uh, now we specify this as a card layout, right? Uh, maybe of this I can have a toolbar. We will specify toolbar. Um, 
because I was not able to see this, right? Is it box ready would work? I'm just checking. Box ready. But still, we were not able to see the names of the panel and all, right? So I don't think that's a good idea to use any of this listener. Uh, I think it's better to go for a toolbar, okay? We'll go for a talk toolbar. Talk. So I'll specify a Docker items. And I have a toolbar. So default next type of uh, what are the default next type of toolbars button right so I don't know to specify X type for this I can just specify state and be the text alone and I can have, uh, assign the handler to it uh, maybe switch cards we can specify and I will have a handler to it and Handler. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay, fine. Okay, once you refresh this, I don't know like this. Okay. I didn't specify where it should get top. I think so. Specify like no. Wow. No. I'm not specifying anything. Let us check whether the syntax is correct, first of all. Yeah, fine. Oh, but the toolbar is not incoming, right? So Docker items are incorrect. Next type toolbar. Docker items. Maybe I'll specify this is a instead of this, I'll do this. This is work. Fine, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is just how I'm just getting to know like uh, maybe docker items are not allowed inside a container at container. <laughs> Toolbar. Okay, fine. Uh, but now we need to change our layout, right? So my layout is uh, card layout. Now, yeah, so now my first item occupied the full uh, area other than my toolbar. When I click on switch cards, now what I want to do is I have my this right, so this is my button, should be, should be my button. So, but I want to get up, so I got a toolbar, but you can just create 
I want a pattern, right? I want a pattern. So the panel is this app main. So inside that, I'm just getting get layout. I'm just trying to get the layout of it. Okay. Okay. I got the layout, but uh, I want to get an active item. Okay. For example, I can do get active. Oh, sorry. Get active item. Okay. So the active item is now that. You can just we can just check it the config. So now the active item is the panel one. Okay, you can check it the ID here. But I don't want the panel one to be active now. But I want to set my own when I switch click on the switch button. I want to set my own instead of that. Okay, so now you check it is panel two. Now we want to do the third one. Uh, yeah. So somewhere we get a first one. So something like that, you can just switch between the, the different uh, items using this card layout. So as far as we seen, what is fit layout, what is Hbox, what is Vbox, what is card layout, and uh, by default it is an auto layout. So the one more thing which I'm going to cover is the, the border layout. The remaining things are uh, pretty much uh, uh, you can just check it in your. Uh, Kitchen sink and uh, moreover, whatever be familiar with this earlier, right? The table layout and all this, uh, we have been familiar with for more than a decade now. So, and the column layout it looks like uh, the way it works, uh, works in uh, the CSS train works uh, like Twitter Bootstrap and Foundation. Okay, um, now I want to change it to the border layout, right? So, I want the border layout. I can remove this, I don't want this anymore. But I want to specify the region for this, okay? So you are specifying the border layout, you have to specify your east region. West region and Let us check what is going to come. Okay. Okay. So as we specified uh, that the default uh, margin for this, we are getting this margin uh, across that. I don't want any of this now. So I just remove this. Okay, so we got the items in this way. Oh, I'm not even to differentiate man. Okay. I'll remove the margin. I'll keep the border as it is just to, to get to know about this. So, if you want to split up between that, you have to give a splitter true, collapsible true, the, the options which we have to get split true. So now you got the splitter like this. So if you want to this bit true for the specify this is center west east will specify it in the order. Okay. Fine. Um, Best center east. I want the split through for this two. So now, ok, 
okay i think the split shoe should go inside this okay and we will specify some item in the north too and copy this header you can have uh, the west and the east the speciality of the center is it can occupy the full region uh, okay so something like this you can also define the south region and uh, this will help you when you are doing something some menus here and when double click on this you want some tab to, you know, to be opened here and you want to do some drag and drop between the application from here to here, from here to here, and you want to work on some multiple regions at the same time by viewing it means this will come in handy. Okay. Uh, I hope this layout section gives uh, some good headsets about uh, going ahead with the XJS layouts and using it. Hope it is helpful. See you in the next session. Bye bye.